Welcome back to News 5. Let's head across the causeway where confusion is brewing in Malaysia over the future of the East Coast Rail Link project. Now, it all started earlier today where the Economic Affairs Minister announced that the China-backed 20 billion US dollar project would be scrapped as the government was unable to afford it. Asmin Ali said if the rail line was not terminated, Malaysia would have to fork out an annual interest payment of 120 million US dollars. He said Malaysia would continue to welcome investment from China, but on a case-by-case basis. But soon after this, the finance minister came out to say he was shocked by Mr. Asmin's announcement. Lim Guan Eng said Mr. Asmin might not have been privy to a decision made by Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad at the last cabinet meeting. Mr. Lim said a statement would soon be issued subject to instructions from Dr. Mahathir. The East Coast Rail Link project was started under the previous Barisan Nasional administration. It aimed to connect the eastern and western coasts of Malaysia and was billed as one of the biggest projects under China's Belt and Road Initiative. But the project has been put on hold since last August. That's amid a review of large-scale infrastructure projects initiated by the newly elected Pakatan Harpan Coalition. Dr. Mahathir has repeatedly vowed to renegotiate or cancel what he calls unfair Chinese infrastructure deals that was authorized by the previous administration. In other news, prices of fish are skyrocketing in KL ahead of the Chinese New Year celebrations. That's despite the Malaysian government's efforts to stabilize prices. They've banned the exports of certain types of fish and prawns. We went down to a local market to find out why.